Hi guys, for today's video, we're gonna review this brand new gaming mouse by Alienware, the Tri-Mode AW720M. Let's do a quick unboxing and see what we got in here. Seven twenty M Alien Wear, and seems like this mouse offers twenty six thousand DPI. That is pretty high. Also, it can be connected to the Alien Wear command center. It has a customizable button, sixteen point eight million RGB effect. All right, let's get it open. See what we have. Here's our mouse. It looks really nice with this lunar light color, just like the other devices. And with some parts that are in black and make this really good contrast. And then make this mouse looks really cool. Under the mouse is the Alienware pack, a warranty card, a start guide, and also a welcome card. I wish they have a stickers for all the Alienware products. That would be pretty neat. And next we have the cable, the USB cable. And this cable is 6.6 .6 feet long. One side is USB and one side is USB Type-C. And then we have an accessory box. Let's take a look what we have inside this accessory box. So the first item right here is our USB Type-C magnetic dongle. And then we have a, a little two. That's the USB dongle remover. And then we have the dongle extender. And next is the USB Type-C dongle. I'll go over each one of these accessories in just a second. Let's take a look at an actual mouse. Wow, this mouse is really light. Its weight is only 3 ounces compared to the previous one, which is the 4.2 ounces. And for a mouse, that's a lot lighter. And even though it's pretty light, the build quality is really strong. It's very solid. When I press it, there's no crack, no gap between the components. This mouse is very solid. So I have both generation here, the 610M and the 720M. So as you guys can see, they completely upgraded. So the generation one has two color, but this one only has one color. And they removed the wings on the bottom of the mouse, which I kind of like a lot. It's pretty comfortable when you hold it. And also they only have one RGB effect now, which is this Alienware logo on the mouse. But in the previous version, we have kind of few so we have two on each side and then we have one on the top and also the Alienware logo. And this one is kind of bulky, so it's a little higher than the new one. And when I'm holding the 610M, my hand feels very full. My whole hand is on the mouse. But when I'm holding this new one, the 720M, there's a lot of uh, space between my hand and the mouse. So it, this mouse is kind of small. It's a little bit smaller than I thought. So from the top to the bottom, this mouse is about five inches and from the left to right is about two and a half inches. So to give you a better idea, this is a copy paper, regular size A4, and this is the size of my hand. So if you have a big hand, definitely not recommend it. But if you have a small hand or a regular hand like I do, this mouse actually feels pretty well. The two buttons on the click is much curved than the first generation too. So a finger will always on the buttons. It won't slide to anywhere else. And also both sides, I think they add more texture to it. So we are getting more grips, no more slappery. And just like all the mouse in the world, we have one left key, one right key, and also we have the wheel. And we have two buttons on the left side and we have another two buttons on the right side. And all these keys can be customized and programmed into the functions that you really need or want. So under the mouse, here's our power button. And here's the mode switch to change it from the 2.4 gig or the Bluetooth. And down here is our profile key. And we have total three feeties and they're very smooth. And all the keys are kind of clicky. So let me give you a sound test so you have a better idea of it. And this mouse can be connected with both 2.4 gig, Bluetooth, or the wired. So this is why it's called the Tri Mode. So to connect this mouse by the 2.4 gig or the Bluetooth, simply just plug in our USB Type-C dongle into our laptop or computer. And then the system will automatically detect the mouse. And to connect it with wired, so just plug in this power cable into the port and then plug in the other side to your laptop or PC and it will work. So this mouse does offer two methods to charge and one is the one that we just did which is connect by this USB cable and another method 
is what they claim wireless charging. But in my opinion, it's still a wire charge. It just looks fancy. So we connect this little magnetic dongle into our mouse. And then we connect this extender to the cable where it says USB. And then oh, we have to put in our dongle in the 2.4 gig. And now we connect this part into our laptop or PC. And then we use this end to attach the mouse like this. So it will start charging, which I think is wired too, but it's pretty convenient. So you can just unplug it like that. So you can always have this guy on there. But each time you want to charge the mouse, you will have to unplug the dongle from your PC or laptop and then plug into this guy. So it's up to you. And this magnetic is pretty strong. Look at this. And if you want to remove the magnetic guy, just insert this guy and then press and then we can unplug it. It's recommended to fully charge the mouse before you use it. So let's do that. While we are waiting, let's go over some of the features this mouse offers in the Alienware Command Center. So after you turn on your Alienware Command Center and you can find the mouse and then you will need to go to their website and download this specific driver which I will include in the description below. So after it's being detected, you will see the icon under FX which is your mouse. From here, we can see the percentage for the battery. So in here, we can also change the lining. So select the mouse and we got some preset. So the morph, we got pulse, and we got breathing and also the one which is my favorite the spectrum and also you can set it to certain color that you want to and also we can adjust the brightness and also we can set the micros to the mouse and also under setting we can change the speed of our double click the speed of our scroll and also the dpi setting you can adjust it to the maximum, which is 26,000 or something that you need. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. But in order to do all this, you will have to have the Alienware Command Center. And now let's play some shooting game and see how it does in gaming. All right, now we are in CSGO and the mouse is set to 2.4 gig. Let's see how it does. So the 2.4 gig feels pretty well. So let's try the Bluetooth for now. Now we are in uh, Bluetooth, but I'll say the 2.4 gig is a little bit faster. It feels definitely different than the 2.4 gig and uh, it's for sure the 2.4 gig is faster than this Bluetooth. And now let's see how the wire does. Man, after some games, I have to say that the wire is always the best choice. And to conclude, Alienware definitely launches a pretty good gaming mouse this year. You got a really nice design, very beautiful lunar light color, and the build quality is really solid. Well, the mouse is only three ounces and actually it performs really well in gaming. I haven't tested the battery yet because it just kept going and I'll make sure to put it in the description once the battery is dead so you will know how long this battery can last. Other than that, leave a comment below of what other gaming gears that you would like to see or review. And now let's see who is the lucky guy for the video giveaway ding, ding, ding. congratulations Lucas Bustamate